Hey everyone, it's Amber from Burned In Teacher, and like I uh, predicted, I was asked to take my last posting down to YouTube for showing you how I ran 14 spelling lists um, with little prep. Um, so it's no big deal. I expected it to happen, um, so I'm going to actually show you a better way to do it anyway, because then you can do this with any type of list that your corporation wants you to use. So. What we're going to do is I'm here in my journal and obviously I just created this class not too long ago so I don't have any posts in it. So what we're going to do is here are my students. I have four students in my class. I'm going to click the add button. I'm going to create a new activity. And here in my library I have already unit one spelling. I'm going to create a new activity. Okay, and this is going to be unit two. And I'll show you um, what I'm doing here in a minute. So here's unit two spelling. And I'm gonna keep the instructions very simple for the, uh, just to keep this video quick. The student instructions, um, actually I'll come back to that later. I'm going to attach an example. I'm going to add a file here. Seesaw is compatible with Google Drive, which is awesome because I love both Seesaw and Google. Um, so I will select from Google Drive. I've already created a couple of fake spelling units that I just created off of the top of my head. So unit two is short I words. So especially for littles, um, I would definitely record each of these words. So I'm going to do that now. Hey kiddos, this is your unit two spelling list and you're going to be working on short I words this week. Your first word, number one, is it. Number two, big. Number three, slip. Number four, dip. Number five, mitt. Number six, slim. Number seven, crib. Number eight, chin. And number nine, tip. Number 10, flip. Okay, now clearly maybe some of these words shouldn't have the CH or the CR um, blends and digraphs. Those are a little bit tricky, but again, this is just for um, helping you to know how to upload these um, individualized spelling lists to Seesaw. So um, if I'm happy with the recording, great. I can go ahead and hit the check mark. If you wanna re-record, you just hit the X here. No big deal. And I can also add a caption that says, you know, unit to spelling list. You don't have to, but it's always helpful. All right, so if I hit the check mark here, all right, now that PDF is now um, attached to these instructions. Now I can just type out my instructions. Listen to your list. To, um, let's see, you could have like daily instructions, Monday, uh, sort your words or write them however you want to. I'm just going to say use this list to practice each activity every day. Three, do your best. Okay, so then I'll add voice instructions, super important for littles. Number one, make sure you listen to your list every day. Number two, use your list to practice each activity every day. And number three, please always do your best. All right, so those are saved as well. Now these activities, are simply to share out lists. So there's nothing fancy about them, okay? You're just providing this as an extra resource for students to practice their individualized lists every day, all right? So here's unit two, all right? And let's say um, I gave a pretest and um, students number three and four, they tested out of unit one, they tested into unit two. So I will share this. I don't want to share with everybody because not everybody has the same spelling needs. So I will click on these two students here, click the check mark. All right, and actually I need to make sure that it goes into the spelling folder. All right, and then I click share with one class. Okay, 
So, and then what's really great is the activity is shared, so it tells you what the students have to do. So, step one, students sign in from your class. Tap add students in the bottom right corner to help students sign in on their device or computer. And step two, students respond. So, students have to go to the activities tab and tap add and respond to this activity, okay? Now, again, this is not a type of activity where they're make it makes an automatic copy and then they do something with this list. I mean, you can do that, but this is simply a delivery method. Okay, it's kind of kind of flipping, um, if you will. All right, so it should be shared. So I'm going to go uh, back to class. All right. And you can see that the Unit 2 spelling um, list is here in the activities feed. It's not in the journal feed right now. Um, it says when it was shared, it is shared with two students in Mrs. Harper's class, and it is in the spelling folder, okay? And responses and waiting for approval to not responded, that will change depending on what it is that you want them to do with it, okay? For the purposes of this video, which is showing you how to create these individualized spelling lists, I'm not going to go into that today, but I can another time. So if I go to journal here, all right, now you're not going to see it out here in the uh, in the library, okay, or in the library, in the journal. You're going to, um, you're going to see those if you're student one, you're going to see the activities for student one is, um, oops, I'm sorry, if I go to student three, oh, I added it to the wrong person. But here's what you can do. If you go to activities, all right, and if I'm unsure of who it was that I shared it with, um, I can go back to that as well. But if I go to my activity library, and I go to my library, by the way, the Seesaw Library has a plethora of other um, activities that you can add to your own. So here's the unit one spelling list. And let's say I want to share that with, um, I want to edit students. I don't want it to be shared with everybody. I will share that with student one and student two. All right, share with the class. Okay, and when I go back to, oops, when I go back to the class, all right, you can see that this unit one spelling uh, is shared with two students and that the unit two spelling is shared with two students as well. Now, what's really, really nice about this is, number one, if you have uh, Seesaw Plus, then you can schedule out activities ahead of time, which is really nice for this whole idea of, um, of pushing out individualized spelling lists, okay? So if I go to student one, you will see that student one has the activity unit one and unit two. Now, let's say that it is the next week and you want to take a uh, unit two out and share it with another student who is ready for it, okay? So all you have to do is click on the activity, hit edit, take it away from student three and four, and now let's say student one, or two, one and two is ready for that unit, and then you hit the check mark and save, all right? So if we refresh our page here, I think that's what the problem was earlier. Okay, if I go to now student one, activities, okay, you can see now which students have that one. Okay, student one, student two. So you can always go back then and see who it is that has each list. Now, what I would do to prep this is I created a, in my Google Drive, I created a folder called Spelling List. And where you have some work on the back end to get this ready is just creating a bunch of new documents Okay, and actually in this case, since I've already created Unit 1 and Unit 2, I would just make a copy of Unit 2. Okay. Open it up, and I would, just waiting patiently for my computer to catch up with me here.
change this to unit three. And, oh my. I clearly need to slow down a little bit. Can't keep up with me. Unit three, and let's say these are short E words, okay? So then you would use whatever list it is that your corporation uses or whatever you've used in the past. Now, clearly this is um, just me showing an example. So whatever spelling curriculum it is that you use, I know there is a way to differentiate it. I know it because I've done it. So as we go back into Seesaw, okay, um, just know, oops, I don't want to, I want to save these. Just know that it is doable. It is very, very simple once you get the hang of it. And what happens then is at the end of each week or whenever you give your spelling tests, you can actually also um, add a way to test them where they actually go in and listen to the test. Okay, I used to do that with my first graders and they were very, very successful. So whether or not, whether you just, um, what you could do in that case is here for spelling lists, you could add a new Google Doc. And then all you would need to do is just put um, spelling test. Say unit one spelling test and then again I'm just kind of flying through here just create these lines and then what I would do is obviously I would make this much bigger but then if you just print out a generic just one through ten for my example um, just print out a bunch of papers um, of one through ten then you can record yourself saying number one Oh, what was a the word there? Uh, number one, at. Number two, uh, slap. And so you're recording yourself reading these words ahead of time, maybe even weeks ahead of time, and now you've simplified it for yourself. So all you would need to do then is, of course, change the share settings. Anyone with the link can view. Done. And then you would just go into Seesaw, add a new activity. All right, and put um, unit one spelling test. And then you would just simply, again, just like we did last time, you would attach the example, add file from Google Drive. And what's great is it will bring up your most recents, which is amazing, okay? There we go. So it's right here, clearly it's not finished. Then you would record yourself saying, again, hey everybody, this is your unit one spelling test. So write unit one at the top of your paper. Number one is at, number two is slap, and then of course you would have the rest of your words there, or rest of your lines there. Okay, hit the check mark. Oops, I forgot to hit stop. So hopefully you get the idea from this video um, and it is helpful in you using Seesaw for more than just um, taking pictures of what the kids are doing, but you can actually use it to simplify and very efficiently um, differentiate something as simple as a spelling test. And let me tell you, you can differentiate much more than this. So. Let me know if you have any questions, uh, burnedinteacher.com, and I will hopefully see you somewhere else in the future. Burn on.